So hi everyone and welcome to Snap, Set, Go. I'm very excited that you are able to be here today and to learn this amazing new technique that I have developed um, over the last year with my clients, with myself, so that um, my clients and I could have a quick strategy that would get us grounded and to move forward quickly and easily through uh, many of life's challenges. So the first thing um, that I would like to do is to just talk a little bit about um, how you can use this technique. So you will see as we go through it that it is made to be used with just about any emotion that you may have, any emotion that you are finding a challenge. And it's also about paying attention to what's going on around you and in you. And you will learn some of these tricks and techniques um, along the way. There are seven levels. And today I'm very excited to say that we will start with level one. So I like to just be in the uh, process of things. And as I talk, if you have questions, you can raise your hand or you can write it in the chat and um, we will answer those questions. So let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is just to sit down or lay down whatever is most comfortable for you and to breathe in through the nose. Try and pay attention to the feeling of the air coming in through your nose and down into your lower belly. The lower belly is the part of your body that is below the belly button. You can put your hand there to feel that. So we'll just practice that to start. So breathing in through the nose and expanding your lower belly and then exhaling. So that part is usually easy for everybody. If you have issues and you can't do it, it's okay to be breathing in your chest. Don't worry about that. But this has a more grounding effect. So breathing into the lower belly and then exhaling. So now that you can do this, I will add step number two to that. So I want you to just snap your fingers, breathe in, hold your breath, and then release. Is everybody good with that integrated? Should I do it one more time just to be sure? I'll do it one more time. So snap your finger, breathe in, hold your breath, relax the shoulders, and exhale. Good. So now we will add another layer in where right here along the, no the, the neck, we have our collarbone just here. You have the collarbone knob just in this section here. I want you to tap, to tap gently. And if you can feel, if that is sensitive, some people are hypersensitive, you can just put, gently put the weight of your fingers and it will, still will work. What this does is that while we are doing all the rest at the same time, so now I'm asking you to be multitasking, right? <laughs> Just do your best. I mean, doing your best is what's the most important. Doesn't need to be perfect. I just want you to do your best. And as you practice this technique, it will become easier and easier. Sort of like um, when you get on a bike from the two, to get to the two wheeler, you have the four wheels and you need to practice to be able to get onto the bike with, the, with only two wheels. So it's the same thing here. So as we tap gently here, I want you to take, oh, snap, take a deep breath for three seconds, hold it for two seconds, relaxing your shoulders and exhale for four. 
Let's practice that one more time. So tapping on the collarbone point, breathing in, relaxing the shoulders, and exhaling. You may exhale through the mouth or through the nose or vary it. It's quite okay. So now that this is okay, is everybody good with this? Excellent. Great. So I'm a suit. Oh, okay. Thank you. A <laughs> thumbs up shows nice. I can see it. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Stefan. So um, now what I want you to do is to choose something that you find somewhat frustrating or stressful or makes you angry or aggravates you or is bothering you today emotionally. Not something that is super stressful for you right now. We'll just start with something that um, we're gonna put it on a scale out of 10. So 10 out of 10 is like really high. You can't handle it anymore. You're ready to explode or whatever that feeling may be. I want you to try and find something that maybe you're between a three and a five out of 10, just to practice. And, we're, and I'd like you to write in the chat um, what that emotion is and out of 10, um, where you are right now. So I will explain what the tapping on the collarbone point does. So as we gently tap on this, I've seen many people hit hard, but it's absolutely not necessary to leave marks, okay? So it calms your amygdala. So while you're thinking and we're talking a bit about what it is that's aggravating or frustrating you or making you anxious or making you angry or, you know, bringing you into a, an emotion of unfairness, whatever that might be, when you're tapping on these points, it sends another message to the amygdala that is the part of the brain that is telling you there's a lion out there trying to uh, kill you and you have to be careful and run, right? You have to run. So, and here I am as I tap on this, just saying, whoa, just a minute, relax. So, so the brain is getting a mixed message. As I think about it, it brings it up. But as I'm tapping gently and breathing, it brings it back down until there's that shift that happens like in a snap as well, and it brings it back down. So, yes, I just saw somebody post anxious about a decision you're making. Um, Nicola, do you want to share what others have said, please? Um, she's at level seven for having to deal with situation that's not on, that's not fair. Yes. Okay. Wrote that she's anxious about a decision that she has to make, and she's at a level five. Okay. Very good. Well, my emotion is frustration. Helen was asking, "What's my emotion?" Yes. At what level, Nicola? Level three. Yeah. And Ashley, what's your um, emotion and at what level is it please um, anxiety and yes i guess at a level five okay very good and i love how you said i guess that's very important because it's not a science it's how we feel okay so i love how you use the words i guess it's your best guess, and I love how you did that. Okay, so now we will, as we think about this, I want you to tap gently on the collarbone, take a deep breath in for three seconds, hold your breath for two seconds, relaxing your shoulders, and exhale for three. Now, I would love for you to notice in your body, where is this emotion that you jotted down? Where is it stuck in your body? Okay, just pay attention. And then breathe in again for, four, for three seconds. Relax your shoulders. And exhale. For four. How... Notice your body again, sorry. Scan it. How, where's the tension? Did it change spots? Breathe in. 
Relax your shoulders and exhale for three. Now I'd like you to give me a thumbs up if it's going down out of 10. Check in out of 10. How does it feel right now? We've only done it twice. I'd like to know if it's staying the same or going down or you can write it in the chat. I have two thumbs up, three. So what we want to do is to keep doing it one more time, breathing in for three, hold, relax the shoulders and exhale. What we really want to do is to bring it down to a zero until we're not, it's not even bothering us anymore. So notice in your body, breathe in, relax the shoulders and exhale. For children, it usually takes two to three, maybe four times. For adults, it may take five to 10 times and that's okay. Do, let's do one more before we write in the chat. Another, you noticed your body, breathe in, relax the shoulders and exhale for four. And now what is your best guess out of 10 where that emotion is right now for you? Write it in the chat or just say it. So we have a three, so, and a two, and excellent. So my question to everyone is what happened to you, like even after the first time? And if you can write how this experience felt for you in the chat, that would be great. I will use it for the testimonials and for people listening so that they can understand that what they're going through is amazing and it's beautiful and it's just so much fun. Mm -hmm. And then in a few minutes, we will pause the recording and start our level two of the Snap, Set, Go. And if you have purchased this um, uh, recording and you're not here with us, please feel free to connect with uh, christinebernat.com um, or online efttransformation.com to uh, connect via my website and you can book an appointment, you can chat with me. I will be happy to answer your questions. Okay, so what do we have in the chat? Do you want to tell me, Nicola? Stephanie Whoa. was reduced to a level three. Good. Mona is at a level two. Mine is significantly reduced. I'm at a zero. Has your anxiety gone down or is it, it hasn't gone down? Oh, so Ashley is saying her anxiety has not been reduced. Good oh, chat. okay. <laughs> so Ashley, what do you think of the thought of going on another device in another room and just hiding your picture? Would that help? I think it's she's okay. anxious about yeah. expressing yeah. her emotions in, in a group, yeah. in a group setting. Yeah, I okay? understand. So Ashley, um, would, you, would you like to take, um, do you have another device you can take and just connect to and then we can, and then you'll just do like Stephanie and have the little person show up instead of you. Would, do you think that would help you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. give that a try. I think that's really good. Thank you so, for that suggestion. Yes, thank you. I had misheard that, so thank you so much. We've got more. Mona says, oh. Uh, I was feeling a little frustrated before our call started, but I'm so much calmer now. Thank you. Good. And Stephanie says, for me, it does, it does help a lot. That's the last of the chat. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So I think we are ready. Um, 
So the level one obviously is the easiest level and you can do this with your children. Um, you can just gently, as you hold them, tap on this um, meridian point right here on the collarbone or even just on the top of the head, just very gently or just put your head down while they're calming down. And just, if you can get them to breathe, but get yourself to breathe as well. So this is a trick for parents who are using this with the young, with their infants and younger children, just to get them, help them to calm and get out of that fear mode that they are stuck in. Okay, very good. So I am excited to see you for level two.